Parkinson disease. Because dopamine does not cross the blood-brain barrier, its immediate precursor levodopa is used instead. It is actively transported inside the brain cells, and it is then converted to dopamine in the brain. Much of levodopa is consumed in peripheral tissues by the enzymes dopamine decarboxylase and catecholomethyltransferase which minimize its availability, increase its side effect profile, and produce metabolites which compete with levodopa at the active transport sites. Inhibiting dopamine decarboxylase by co-administering the drug carbidopa decreases the peripheral consumption of levodopa and increases its availability to the brain tissue. However, a part of this increasingly available levodopa is shifted to and deactivated by the catechol o methyltransferase pathway. This, in turn, is minimized by drugs like intacapone and tolcapone. Those drugs selectively inhibit this enzyme, which decreases peripheral conversion and the competition at the active transport sites, finally increasing central uptake of levodopa. Another strategy for the treatment of Parkinson's disease is increasing the dopaminergic activity in the brain by using dopamine agonist group. This group of centrally acting drugs includes pramipixol, apomorphine, and bromocreptine. Finally, a group of drugs called MAO inhibitors inhibit the degradation of dopamine in the central nervous system therefore increase the dopaminergic activity. This group includes basigiline and silagiline drugs.